Okay, well, good morning, everyone. Um, welcome to completing your to do list. Um, this is a series of webinars that I'm presenting and it's I'm calling it planning for entrepreneurs, but this actually the planning and the tools and tips that I discuss can be used by anyone. Um, anyone that has a vision, anyone that has a goal. Our last session uh, when we were uh, talking and discussing things, you know, uh, we talked about what should we talk about next. And so this was one of those things that uh, several of us on the call, we were saying that we have an issue with. We can start. We don't always finish. To finish. So implementing actions to manifest our vision. So this is the part we're going to get into. Okay, what can we do to make sure that we complete our to-do list? So what I would like to know is what are some of the things that you do that facilitate completing your task? What are some of the things that you do that allows you to be able to complete your task? And that's me, make lists. <laughs> I wanted to share, mm -hmm. um, knowing your why is so important because it also helps you continue fighting for what you want mm -hmm. and overcoming a lot of personal um, inner struggles and those that comes from the outside. Yes. So that way it is more difficult to self-sabotage yourself because you understand why you're doing it. It's more difficult for someone to tell you you can't do this or you won't do this or you're not able because you know your why and you know who is giving you your why. You know who your strength comes from. So this is share my list with my mastermind partners. Organize time, daily checklists. These are, write everything down. These are all great. Ask my assistant or mommy to stay on top of me. <laughs> that was Tatiana. <laughs> <laughs> Prioritize. No, I don't know. It was me. That was <laughs> <laughs> I need my mom and assistant, Adrian. Hi, Adrian. <laughs> oh, I love this. Openly confess them into the atmosphere to hear myself saying them. Saying them. Yes. That's me. And yes. For me, this one is really, I have a mastermind group. I have mm -hmm. my to-do list. Of course, we do smart goals, but we do actions. You know, I'm an mm -hmm. Ann McNeil mentee, and um, she's the big mastermind. Yes, I know. <laughs> creating masterminds, building masterminds, but we do the open confession. Mm -hmm. I, I have a, a small vision board. I love what you said last week, or was it you about making it s something really small, but I, um, oh, that was Mark, Robin Sharma said, make your vision board part of your, your journal. Yeah, I, that was me. I do oh, it. You too. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> you said it and Robin said it on a video I've been watching, but we do the whatever our goals are for the week, we speak them into the atmosphere. So you hear, cause what faith comes by hearing. Mm -hmm. And so when we repeat them to ourselves on a daily or weekly basis, knowing what they are, not just reading them or seeing them, but hearing them, it's a reminder to me that one, I can do it or I have to do it. And two, that I can do it. Right. So open confession works a lot for me. I love that. I love that. I, I, th I'm going to incorporate that one. So my, I have a small Facebook group um, where we try to affirm each other. So what I'm going to start doing is, uh, is um, um, asking everyone to start speaking those things in, um, in the group. And so because when we hear it, you know, and just like you said, hearing, faith, it, it, it comes from hearing. It's a, it's a hearer. That's a faith builder when you hear mm -hmm. it. And, and, and for us, we do... I can, you know, I can, whatever it is, or I will, whatever mm -hmm. it is, so that you can hear yourself. If, if the task that you need to get done in a week or so, then, you know, I'll have this done by Friday. We mm -hmm. say it like that. If it's something that's coming up on one of our goals, I will have this done. Mm -hmm. Now that I'm going to do it, I will, I will have, have it this. done. That's I will have it done. Mm -hmm. and, and choice of words is very important. My, um, my youngest daughter, um, Takara, um, and, and this may, she told me, she was talking to me. She said, choice of words is very, very important. She says, and she gave me an example. She says, butt dial and booty call. 
they're both synonyms, but they mean entirely two different things. So we really have to be careful with our choice of words. So I will, will is a, is a, is a good, not I am going, but I will. That's a good way to affirm that you'll be able to do those things and do what you've set aside for, for yourself. Okay. Thank you all for sharing those. So we're going to dive into it. So working to finish, work daily. So this is something that some, sometimes we don't do. You know, it's better to put in 15 minutes a day than to try to plug everything in to do at the, at the end of the week. So organization is really key um, to making us be, being able to complete our tasks. So um, President Min Williams mentioned, you know, saying it, I will do this. So my thing was, I will have this webinar. So what I needed to make sure that I worked daily on making sure those things were in place to clearly uh, put the project into chunks, small size chunks that, and I'm going to show you um, that an example of that in a few minutes of how I took the preparation for this webinar and really um, put it into a fashion so that you can see how I worked on it in order for it to come to pass. The one thing I do know is that a short working ses um, session is sometimes easier to start and complete. So if you have like little short things during the course of the week, it makes it more bearable because it's like, okay, if I do 30 minutes today, rather than trying to do six hours of it on Friday, you know, breaking it up into small pieces daily really helps us to really target and finish a task prioritize this is another one so if you take so there's a i i have an issue of i don't i i have an a problem i i have to confess it's hard for me sometimes to say no but and not no i'm not even gonna say but it's hard for me to say no however i need to try to understand what i currently have on my plate so that I can say yes and then prioritize it. So if I have several other incomplete projects going on and then I take on something else, what do you think that's going to do to all of the projects that I have going on? I have to make sure that I'm prioritizing correctly. Otherwise, I'm going to find myself in the same boat of having several incomplete projects. And when you prioritize, what you're doing is you're making an agreement with yourself. You know, I'm, I opened up by saying I'm a mom, I'm a daughter, I'm a wife, I have a full-time job, I'm a team building coach, I, all of these things. I have to prioritize for that week. You know, my kids are always a high priority. My husband is always a high priority. My mom is always a high priority. So all of those things are, you know, already have time. So it takes me the other things, I'm having to sit down and to really say, what is it that I can and cannot do this week? And can I help you with something? Yes. I teach a thing for our girls. Um, it says, you have to know k-n-o-w mm -hmm. when to say no and o right mm -hmm. you've got to know when to say no i have i have a helper spirit i like to help people and i think so, unfortunately or fortunately people know that and so they'll call me for help and what what i need to learn how to do is to say i can't help you at this time i have too much going on so you're right, I have to know when to say no. That helper in me just wants to help. Oh, let me help them out. Um, another thing that we can do to help us to uh, work, to finish our tasks, to complete our to-do list is to trust. So when we're paralyzed with doubt, we have to trust ourselves. We have to trust that we can complete the project if we stick to it 
you know, we, we, um, what, and president, thank you so much. That truly blessed me about the hearing. And I, I hadn't thought of it that way. You hear that Bible verse all the time, but I hadn't thought of that way. So thought of it that way. So now, not only will I be writing it down and not only, cause I, I know I have to write it down, you know, write the vision, make it plain. I, I have that. Now I'm going to be speaking it into existence. And so that is how I will affirm myself every week, every day, so that I can make sure that I'm, I'm working towards completing my tasks and completing my to-do list. We have to trust ourselves. You know, we talked about good ideas versus God ideas. So if you have a God idea, you have to trust that God has given you every thing, every resource that you will need in order to complete the task that's been assigned. You have to trust in that. Trust in him and trust in yourself. You know, sometimes we get lost in the details and we get to a point where we feel like we, we, we don't know enough. Or um, we, don't, we start to then trust, uh, question if this vision is really for me. You know, God, did you really want me to do this? Lord, did you really say for me to do this? Because it's not working out the way that I thought. And we have to understand that it's not about how we think. He has a purpose for everything that we go through. There's a purpose. There's, there's something that we should learn. There's something that's going to make us stronger. There's something that's going to make us better. So we have to trust the process, as my pastor would say, trust the process. Outcome. So this is another way, another way for us to um, work towards completing our to-do list. Whenever you are in doubt about your next step, always go back to your why. Whenever you can't think of what it is I need to do next or how am I going to do this, always go back to your why. And you'll see that in a lot of the things that I have available on the website, why? And I do that to myself. Like when I, um, you know, we talked last time and we, uh, several people, you know, we were saying, oh, what should we tackle next? What should be the webinar? What should the webinar be on? And, you know, some people were talking about motivation. I sent you guys to Jitta. Um, Jitta had a class, that to Jitta Bug. Uh, um, Adrian did a class last week. Oh, you guys, you missed it. It was awesome. Um, um, what are your motivational forces? That, that wasn't my why. You know, that's not, you know, could I have done it? A class on motivation? Maybe. I don't know. But that wasn't my why. So I have to always, always go back to my why. And when I go back to that, it gives me my motivation. It gives me my conviction. And that's what you need in order to finish your, comp your or to complete your to-do list. So a strong fish finish. So as you all know, we, we, we always are talking about planners. Um, I am an avid planner. I love planning. Um, and I, and I do it, and I, I talked about it yesterday on Facebook. I even showed some examples, and I said as soon as the shelter in place is lifted, and maybe a, a six weeks after that, I want to make sure <laughs> we're all cool, so we don't have to inject Clorox and Lysol. Woo. Correct. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, um, I'm going to host a, 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 a planner get together. We're just going to get together over brunch or breakfast and just really kind of share. It's going to be a time of sharing. You know, I learn from you, you learn from me, and, and together we get better. So I'm going to now just kind of um, uh, show you a little bit about how I make my planner work for me in completing my to-do list. Before you do that, Yolanda, uh -huh. when you were talking about working to finish and you said work daily, mm -hmm. um, a few weeks ago we were doing a six-week um, um, video series on faith, and one of the, the videos was about daily faith, and it goes with daily working. The devil is not... He's not concerned about you having yearly faith or semi-annual mm -hmm. faith, quarterly faith, monthly faith, weekly faith. But when you exercise your faith daily, 
that's when the devil really gets afraid of you. When you, he yeah. think you're not going to do nothing for mm-hmm. a month from now, a quarter from now, he don't be thinking about that because he know you probably ain't going to do it. You know what I mean? Yes. But when he see you exercising your faith daily, that's when he gets nervous. Mm-hmm. So in order for us to get anything done, we got to do two things. We got to work it because faith without work is dead. dead. Yeah. It's yes. completely dead. So do it daily. That's why we do our, you know, a- affirmations daily. Mm-hmm. We- them in the atmosphere daily looking at your vision board daily reviewing your goals do daily. it daily because mm-hmm. if you just do it weekly that week may turn out to be two weeks from now it yes. might be a month from now so don't don't don't, don't give him no play right. <laughs> don't so, give procrastination no play right. don't give stopping so, you no play if don't you sabotage daily. yes yes if you daily do it daily you're more likely to yes. do it so the other thing i want to say before we move on is mm-hmm. is that the three go together Habakkuk 2, write the yep. vision, make it plain. Mm-hmm. Then creating a vision board, something that you can see, and then hearing yourself speak it. Man, mm-hmm. how you, your success rate goes out of the, I think it goes just mm-hmm. up so much more when you do the three together. It, One it, by itself, two by, but together, all together. three of them on a regular, mm-hmm. a regular daily basis, I think mm-hmm. our, our success rate will go out the roof. I think to many of us, uh, um, President Williams, especially for some reason with our with our culture with our and and I'm and I can only speak to this because I, that's me our african american women and and young girls is that we don't we don't affirm each we don't affirm ourselves enough it's not taught no. affirmation is not taught and a lot of times what our girls hear and what they start to take in and then what they themselves start to verbalize only tears them down more. You know, when, you know, my, I, my, my, do- I have two, I have three daughters, two of them have business enterprises. Um, the third daughter is working on her um, business enterprise. And I just think about sometimes when they discuss this with others, the negativity that they get why would why would anyone you know speak negativity into a young person's life when they're trying to do better when they're trying to build a legacy when they're trying to break strongholds when they're trying to 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 do something why why you know and i think as an as a culture you know this is something that we we have to change we do you know, it, it's not but a handful of us on this line, but I believe that if each one of us touches another person who touches another person, that we can break that chain, that we can start telling those young ladies and everyone on, hey, you will be successful. Well, I, uh, wrote success- down, mm-hmm. I wrote this down and I was going to ask you at the end, and that's why writing things down is so powerful. I wrote it down. I said at the end, I'm going to ask you with our with my girls program and I'm um, girls ministry director, you know, for my church. Mm-hmm. We do this affirmation at the beginning of every meeting and at the end of every meeting. It takes about 45 seconds, if you don't Mm -hmm. mind. You ladies have to participate, and you can participate from behind the mute button when you you, you say everything I say, and we normally point at each other when we get to the pointing. So Mm -hmm. we say something, and then you repeat it. Then we do the find a sister and point, because we're building their self-esteem and teaching them to affirm their sisters. So the leader, in every week, it's a different girl who leads the the Mm -hmm. affirmation at the beginning and at the end it says i am unique you guys say it i I am am unique unique. i am special i am special i am valuable i am valuable and i am beautiful and i am beautiful beautiful. now point at the sister say you are unique you are unique (laughs) you are special you are special you are valuable you are valuable and you are beautiful and you are beautiful i rock i rock you rock you rock we rock we rock girls rock girls rock we recognize we recognize that we are unique 
that, that we are we, unique. It was God's design. It, it was, was God's, God's design. design. That's my motto. It's for my girls program. And when, when I'm with Christian girls, I say Christian girls rock. If I'm in a mm -hmm. school system doing an after school program, I just say girls rock. I've even done it with women's group now. I say women rock. But we got to learn how to. And when girls first do it in a conference or somewhere, they feel weird saying mm -hmm. it because they're not used to affirming someone else. And I teach the principle. All of us are unique. When I walk in the room, I think I'm looking good. But I look around and recognize, dang, everybody else looking good too. <laughs> but if you don't, um, you know, train yourself to think like mm -hmm. that, you can become the person that walks in a room thinking you're the only good looking person in the room. And it's not true. Right. All right. of us are unique. And our, our, of course, our foundational scripture is Psalms 139, 14. That's what we use. So after learning to teach your daughter to affirm herself, mm -hmm. but also teach your daughters or girls to affirm From others. others. Right, yes. right. That's so important. So important. So a strong finish. We're going to um, move forward with this. And so um, last week I showed you um, the vision worker worksheet. So this was the, this particular worksheet that we have here. And this worksheet was on the vision worker, where we put the goal here and we really defined our why and we gave it a deadline and we worked on the session. So I'm not going to talk about the blank sheet that much now because I want to show you the form and action. So this is, uh, this is just, this is a little video <laughs> and I'm just showing you, I decorated it and everything because I, you know me, I'm a little extra. So just the different things that I needed to do um, with this particular worksheet and I'm and when you get to it and so this is the worksheet here I hope I know it's a little blurry I'm so sorry um, but here what I did here and I did this particular worksheet in pencil and that's okay because um, plans change steps needed change so we have to get to a point where we're okay with going to plan B or plan C. And so here I put my why and my why as to why I'm doing this. And because I had this worksheet in front of me all week, it stayed on my desk. And this was, I always had this to say, this is why I'm doing this webinar. And then this is my deadline. This is my deadline. You know, I put a little sticker saying, think big, start small, you know, big picture, but break it down. And also you can see note to self, you can. That, so I had that affirmation written, but now I know I need to say it as well. Yeah. And so what I did was then I, I took this completing your to-do list web for my webinar and I have my why here and then I broke it out into three different steps that I needed to do in order to complete so the first thing I needed was an idea concept I needed to create my objectives how else you know that's that's what's going to gear me towards um, the training and what it's going to encompass I also create needed to create the slides needed interactive exercises that way it keeps the audience involved marketing you know i needed to figure out you know a flyer ways to invite people develop a plan send emails and then purpose so really what you know um what is my it, this goes back to the why you know develop a vision sheet what are some of the other things that i need to do network um follow up so my follow-up, and you see I have dates for each of these things. Um, what you don't see is, you know, the check marks that I have here regarding, you know, when did I complete the task? And I use this particular worksheet because these ideas were not dependent upon each other. So these were independent ideas. So this worksheet works best for that. Um, this worksheet is available in letter size, um, classic, which is like uh, a a size planner in A5. A5 is like the most common size planner that a lot of people have and you can print it, punch holes in it. And this um, helps you as you're putting together a task. I also have available, this one is cool for short things that only have three steps or three kind of main ideas to complete it. I also have this form available in an expanded version. So if for those, um, 
visions or tasks that require more steps, um, there's an expanded version um, that's also available for uh, as a printable on the website. Is the faith planner, is, are the faith sheets available yet? The faith sheets are not available yet. The faith sheets will come when I do, um, they'll be introduced when I do the faith, when I do one of my faith webinars. Okay. Okay. So that they're coming really soon. <laughs> coming really soon. So um, the next thing too, because someone asked about this, is um, they wanted to kind of, they asked me, they wanted to something a little bit more complex um, in, in planning. They wanted to be able to really plot out the times and things that are, are needed. So on the website, there is a 30-day vision planner. So um, this works for those uh, tasks that you think may take 30 days or less. So for example, um, here I have brand my, you know, brand your business. That's your goal. You would write your why and then put a deadline as to why um, you need to finish it. That's one of the things as to why we find we can't complete our to-do list is because we don't give ourselves deadlines. You know, if I say, oh, I'm going to do this, but I never set a deadline, I have who knows when I'm going to look at it again? Who knows when I'm going to tackle it? So I think deadlines are very, very important. So here I, I'm saying brand my business. I have my whys here. I have a deadline. So up here is like when you do your little brainstorming and you just kind of write down the different things that you need to do in order to brand your business. So, you know, I just jotted down like mission statement core brand values, colors, logo, vision, taglines, how I'm going to work my brand, the pillars. And then you use these tasks and you, what you do is you start to think about what of these things need to happen first and how are they related to the next um, task. So anything, you need a mission, you need a vision, um, you need your core brand, your, uh, here I say statement, but your, your, what is your core brand values? And then you use this, this is a mini Gantt chart, um, to really kind of plot your vision to see how long things are going to take. So I've given myself for my mission to be able, I've given myself four days to complete that. My vision can be, vision statement can do, be done in parallel. So I'll start at the same time, but it's going to pay, take a little bit longer because, because it's, more, it's more encompassing. Now my core brand values and core brand statement, I can't do that until I finish developing my mission and my vision. So now I'm going to plot that out a little bit later. All of these things, so these three things help me to develop what my pillars are. You know, what is it that I, what I, what is it that I want to be known for? And um, then colors for my brand and my logos. And as you can see, some of the, these things, like I can start this while this is still going on, but I can't finish it before I've completed the pillars. So this is about, this helps you to be able to determine what can I start? Um, uh, be, this helps you to be able to prioritize and to really see, okay, what can I start while something else is going on, but what can't I start until another task has been finished? So this printable is also available on the uh, website as well as um, instructions. And later on, and I was hoping, 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 um, that we would have time to actually do one. I was gonna ask you guys, to, I was gonna do one in real real time, but we've ran a little long, so I, um, today I won't do it. If you do want to do just this in real time, let me know and I'll go ahead and we can schedule um, a webinar at a future date to do, to do this plotter in, in real time. And we'll take an idea from the audience as to what you guys wanna do. You can do a midweek webinar to do that. <laughs> I have a full-time job. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I, I know that you have webinars already uh, planned out. Yes. So I just I, feel like this will get pushed way to the back. I, so the thing is, is that I work in clinical research. And right now, my um, COVID-19 is, is, and that's, 
and I literally uh, a couple of times this week work till 10 and 11 o'clock at night because I'm looking at research protocols. Um, our scientists are really trying to figure out a way, one, vaccines, two, mitigating um, the effect that the virus has on um, disparate populations, as well as mitigating. Um, uh, we do know that the disease has to progress, but how to minimize the effect it has on individuals, what we're trying to do is prevent them from having to go into the ICU. So 60 plus research protocols are submitted every day. I am the only person that does what I do at the university. So a midweek webinar is highly unlikely. <laughs> But I can do multiple. I, 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 you know, we'll we'll play around. Maybe one of those off weeks that I'm that I have something that's kind of a quickie. We can jump on and, and do that. So uh, what I what I do need is for you guys to go to the website and join the emailing list, and I'll email you. That way I can email you, and it'll be like a a a, a quickie, and we'll do one of those um, thirty day um, planning. So. All of the uh, forms are available on the website if you wish to um, use them or, or to purchase them. And note that some freebie, also join the mailing list because I'm going to be putting some freebies up on the website. So um, join the mailing list so you can um, get some of the freebies that will, be off, that will be available for you to use for planning. As always, I always like to ask you, what do you wanna hear about next? If you can use the Poll Everywhere um, software and to just go ahead and type in what is it that you want to hear about next. Um, and, you know, I kind of like these. So we'll, we'll I, I like sharing and I like learning. And I've been with you guys. You guys have um, not only am, um, are you learning, but I'm learning as well. So let me know what it is that you would like to hear about next by um, using the Poll Everywhere software how to use the time form. <laughs> yep, and that one will be more direct to the point. We won't have all the philosophical, we'll go directly into how to use it. Anyone else? I'm writing. Okay. How to readjust and how to deal with the unexpected. That's perfect. That's awesome. I think this will be a, I think that'll be timely, mm -hmm. um, you know, because all of us, like without exception, had to readjust um, after this whole thing started. Mm -hmm. You know, we had everything scheduled out. We had everything planned out. And then we had to make adjustments. Mm -hmm. So, and that was something that we've all collectively, you know, had to deal with. True. I true. think that would be a great um, topic. Now, I think that'll be an awesome topic um, is how to adjust, readjust and how to deal with the unexpected. Um, that's the one thing that, um, one, that's one of the things that this virus has taught us. This virus has really, this pandemic has taught us a lot. It says how to activate or reactivate your creative juicy flow, yes. Um, I do sometimes find myself, um, uh, as a writer, um, I, I sometimes experience what it, what's called writer's block. And I say, that's when my imaginary friends, they stop talking to me. So they're mad at me. So they're not talking to me. So as I'm sitting there in front of the computer or in front of my pad, like, mm, okay, nobody's going to tell me what they want to say today, you know? So yes, we'll definitely how to activate or reactivate your creative juicy flow. That would be, that's an awesome one to do. So we're going to, so you can keep typing even after I move to the next page, you can keep submitting those ideas. So I just want to let you all know, our, we have some upcoming uh, events. Um, the first one is Understanding Your Why. That's going to be Saturday, May 9th, um, 2020. And um, we'll be uh, blessed to have uh, Carolyn Wheeler. She's a purpose coach. And she's going to be, uh, we'll, this will be a collaboration. My first collaboration, yay. Hey, mine too. <laughs> so that's the one thing that, that's one of the things on my list. I actually have, have gotten some, it's amazing. 
Tamila, who's the virtual assistant I was talking about, she encouraged me to go live. And based on that, the, the live I did on IG and Facebook, um, you know, I'm not going to say a whole lot about it, but I've, um, uh, two other people have reached out to me for collaborate collaborations. So it's like, okay, okay, I see this. I, I see what you were talking about, Tamila. So um, understanding your why. Um, it, if you go to the website, you can go ahead and submit your email address. And um, that way we can um, send you the link for that particular Zoom meeting when it comes up. And you can also, that way you can also add it to your calendar. Um, and be notified, especially for those of you who are not on Facebook as often. And then uh, um, branding your vision. So that's something that uh, that's another class that we're offering. And that one is Saturday, May 23rd. Um, branding your vision is the other upcoming event. And like I said, both of these are on the website and you can sign up for both of them um, as of today and so you can have them on your calendar and I'll also be putting them on Facebook. Okay, um, also before you go, know that this session as well as all of the other webinars that I've done are available on YouTube. And if you go to my website and click on the YouTube link, uh, you'll be able to find um, the YouTube page. Also know I usually try to upload the most up-to-date webinar is on the web page so you can actually watch the webinar um, from my web page uh, also know that there are going to be other video presentations these won't be interactive i'll be doing 13 must-have items to effectively vision plan so i'll be just talking about the 13 things that you you should have um, to effectively vision plan and then also 13 must reads for any vision planner so I'll be um, discussing some books and articles that'll help you along the way. Don't forget to join the email list on the website. Also, if you're not already, you can follow me on all of uh, the social media platforms. I'm on Instagram as at the entrepreneur, on Facebook, my professional page. I sometimes don't always remember to take things from my professional page and put it on my personal page. So um, try to follow the professional page as well. Um, I'm, I'm also on YouTube. And if you, uh, if you like what you've heard or you've missed something or, you know, don't forget to subscribe. Um, don't forget to give the videos a thumbs up if you like them. So anyone have any questions? Okay. And I'm going to say thank you. Um, and if you know, need more information, you can contact us um, via um, team at info at teamumbook.com. And what we're going to do is, um, can you guys see the gallery of, of viewers? You can see everyone's picture? Yes. All yes. right, perfect. So now we're going to do the affirmations to end our call. Yay! Yay! <laughs> okay, so President Williams, we need you to lead us in this particular part. Okay, um, which affirmation are we doing? You, you said that you were mentioning how um, during your meetings you all do an affirmation to start the meeting, but you also do something at the end of the meeting. Well, we um, do the same one. It's oh, a it's the same one. It's okay, the same all right. One. So you. So, you Want to do it again? We can, but it's the same one. Okay. Okay. I, I, I think we can do it again. I, okay. I actually want to change it a little bit. <laughs> uh, okay, I want to change. change it. So what I want to do is because we're talking about vision and okay. we're talking about vision planning, I want everyone on this call to list what they will complete this week from Saturday, from today till next Saturday. I want to hear I will and then complete and whatever that task may be. So let's start with Carol, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. I will complete my master thesis. Yay! <laughs> so I'm gonna be, you know, I'm gonna be bugging you. <laughs> so Carol, Carol says she will complete her master's thesis. Sharice, you gotta need to unmute yourself, your, unmute yourself. What will you complete this week? from today until next Saturday. I will complete the process of choosing a business name. 
Yes. <laughs> You know, I'm. I, you know me. I'm gonna harass you about it. <laughs> okay, Chandra, you're next. What will you complete this week? So I'm kind of all over the place right now with <laughs> like you working full time. So I don't really know. So I know I've slacked up on my business, like promotion and marketing. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'll say that I will complete. Um, this is not really. I guess more. Um, more marketing, more promotional marketing um, material on social media. Yay! Oh. And some, and and if so, for and this is where virtual assistant comes in handy too, or or utilize those teenagers you have in your house. That's what I do. <laughs> yes. But you know, go back to what you go back to what you said. Sometimes you gotta let go. Um, mm -hmm. I don't. So not that I don't trust <laughs> them, but you know, I want to do it all by myself, mm -hmm. and I have to. I have to let that go sometimes. Mm -hmm. Delegate. Yes. Okay. So Adrian, what's your why? What's your um? What will you be completing this week? Um. Well, first, just to add to Miss Chandra. Mm -hmm. Um. I used to be like that too. But one, I used to always say, I have a team, I have a team. I had to give it to them because I literally was overwhelmed. And when I started giving it to them, my business picked up both my childcare and my professional development business. Once I started saying, hey, Julie, can you do these emails? Hey, Drika, can you make these copies? And I would focus on the presentation. And mm -hmm. it, it, it elevates everything when you can delegate. Yes. Um, but I will complete this week um, my cookbook and my other ebook that's set to release. I know. I saw the cookbook and you went live with a cooking session. It was so yes. awesome. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Adrienne has a cookbook coming out, and I, it's it's um she's she's an uh, child care um she's a daycare owner, and um she also does um, education for child care workers, and she do, she's in the process of um, completing a cookbook. Um, that that makes cooking fun for kids, cooking um, fun and educational for kids. So yes. check it out. All right, Tanya, um, you're next. Let us know what you will be completing this week. Hi, everybody. Um, I don't know, you really got me thinking a <laughs> lot. <laughs> but the only thing I can think about is work. So I will complete the science department um scheduling for the upcoming school year okay and yay. and tanya yay i don't know if do i know you um you've met me several times okay <laughs> all righty it's so, okay you're always busy running around i've been to a couple of shows oh okay okay perfect perfect but it, it was kind of informal at the okay same. all right thank you so much but for I, joining I, here, I'm here courtesy of Sharice. Oh, hey. Oh, this is... Oh, okay. All right. Now I know. Make sure I get your email address so that I can um, email you of um, what we have coming up. And um, don't forget to check out YouTube. You'll see the predecessors to this particular webinar because we actually um, built upon what was done before. And um, She's yeah. been keeping me abreast. Like, okay. she sent me the link and okay. I've already... Oh, awesome. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. I have a lot. See, I have a team. My team is on the call. <laughs> Thank you all so much for, for helping me out. Lady Bolden, what will you complete this week? Okay, so I'm like Sandra. I'm kind of like all over the place now that I'm home um, all day and all night. I'm usually working at night. But I do have two things I want to kind of like get done, I guess, within the next two weeks. Uh, one is organizing my workspace. And the second one is I have a few things with my girls mentoring group um, that I need to, I guess, clean up. And then like um, Sister McCubb or Yolanda um, texted me throughout this week, like building my, our um, IG page. So I'm working on that. So those two, those two things I want to kind of complete within the next two weeks. Okay. All righty. All right. You know, I'm writing, guys, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm writing all these things down. So I know when, when I call you, what I should be talking to you about. I've, I believe in um, 
encouraging others and keeping them encouraged um, because I know sometimes there's a there's another force that's trying to prevent you from from getting things done so I want to be that force that's encouraging you to keep going and President Williams what would what is it that you're going to complete this week I'm sorry, did you say B? Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, my little, my little computer click. So I've got two things. Um, one is um, professionally, it, it's from my job. I've got a, uh, a national customer that I've got to, by the end of this month, tie up a major issue with. And mm -hmm. it's not me, it's them. I just got to convince them that they owe me this money and I want my money. So that's just <laughs> the bottom line mm -hmm. <laughs> for our company. But from uh, on the other side, you know, my presidency is technically ended, but I, I um, was writing um, a manual to give to my successor, Gloria Jackson Davis. Mm -hmm. And with all of this COVID-19 stuff, it hasn't happened yet because I was going to present it to her at the installation service. Well, the uh -huh. installation service never happened. So I, and all of this is kind of threw it off. So I need to get that finished so I can give it to her. And I think it'll be a good, um, help guide for her in, in the presidency um, as she succeeds me and leads our women for our district. So that's a big one for me um, is to get that completed. And some, I didn't get it from anybody. It's never been done. So I want to do it and leave a legacy of having something to hand each president when they take over the um, office. Awesome. 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 So my, my um, thing to complete this week is I, would like to get off of day one of my book. <laughs> um, uh, the, the, the novel that I'm writing, um, day one, has, is, it has been a very long day, um, but there's a lot going on. So that's, that's my thing to complete this week. So if anyone is, is reaching out to me, uh, just that, just kind of say, you know, Yolanda, are you writing? <laughs> just kind of make sure I, um, that I am writing this week but again everyone thank you all so much for um, joining this webinar it took a little longer than i envisioned uh, i guess that means it was um, quite a bit of um, information uh, um, but thank you all again please remember we have upcoming events coming up and i'm going to look at the calendar to see how we can squeeze in that um, how we can squeeze in the uh, that other um, vision planning page that I showed regarding the um, the timelines. Um, it, that's like a mini Gantt chart. So I'll take a look at that and see how we can squeeze that into the schedule for those that are interested in completing it. Thank you so much. Thank you. I, I'm I'm Yolanda. Uh, I hope this has been informative. Tell somebody. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Tell somebody so they can join us next time. Uh, also, that way they can also um, take a look at the videos on YouTube if they're if they aren't able to join. I I'll be signing up for both of the seminars, May 9th and the 23rd. Awesome, awesome. Yay. Thank you so much. Yes. So, <laughs> have a good day, ladies. Have a good day, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. -bye. Bye.